Good day everyone, welcome to the MECAD Minute. I'm Ivan and I will be working you through how a few surfacing tools and how to make use of these surface visualization tools to troubleshoot some issues you might experience. Um, so normal in surfacing, uh, you have quite a lot of um, power, but also a lot of things can go wrong. So what we're going to start with is we're going to delete these three faces and we're going to use the delete and fill option. We click show preview everything looks good and that's okay and we're happy with that now if we look at this there's some weirdness about this model i'm not exactly sure what it's difficult to see so what we'll do is go to the evaluate tab select zebra stripe and zebra stripe is what we call a high reflectivity view state and what this can do is it helps uh, showcase uh, discontinuities in terms of tangency as well as uh, curvature discontinuities. Uh, so for one, you'll see this face over here and this fillet, uh, the edges don't line up perfectly and that's just because they're uh, tangent continuous but not curvature continuous. In other cases, uh, you'll see they're completely disjointed like this top surface and this face over here. So that is, there's not even tangency con continuity there. Now, if we look at the face, if this was one consistent radius like we want it to be, there would not be this bulge in the middle of the lines, so would be much more uh, continuous and much better spaced. Uh, same with over here, if these were actual flat faces, they wouldn't radiate radially out like they do. I'm going to disable that just by clicking on it and turn on the curvature display. So if we look at the curvature display, we get a better picture of what's actually going on. If this was one continuous radius, it would just be one green block from top to bottom. Um, we can clearly see the radius is expanding outwards um, and it's even affecting the faces over here. And finally, if we just do a, a quick uh, section view, we can see what's actually happening. So if I move this slowly, you'll see it's a, an, a whole bulge there in the center that's messing with our design. So we're going to make some changes. We're going to delete, change this delete face and change it just to a delete. And then we're going to use the lofted surface feature. Uh, so first start off by uh, selecting your profile. So your beginning and end profile. You can have more than one profile with this. Uh, when you select the secondary edge, make sure you select the same side as you did the first edge. Otherwise, it does this. So the end connectors, it thinks they're flipped around. But what you can do is you can just drag that and it flips it to the right side for you. Next, we're going to do guide curves. Now we have to select multiple edges here. So we're going to make use of the selection man manager. Uh, so uh, select uh, that box, right click on it and select Selection Manager and select the edges you are interested in. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And there we go. Now what if we don't want to go through all the effort of pressing OK and going back to the Evaluate tab to look at this? Well, we can do all of those things uh, in here. Um, so firstly, the Mesh Preview is a powerful tool that will showcase what the mesh, if it had a consistent grid on it, what it would look like. Um, everything looks good, but let's just quickly do a zebra stripe as well. Looking at the zebra stripe, we see a much more consistent faces for these. They seem to be perfectly flat, um, and that curvature there is much more consistent like we saw in these uh, fillets over here. And lastly, there's the curvature comb. So this just adds these red comb marks for what the curvature is. If I press OK, and there's that surface. Now let's just go back and look at the curvature display. And we can see this is actually a very consistent curvature over here. Um, we might be, make some changes in terms of tangency, but we can be very happy with this. And then that's how you make use of the surfacing tools, uh, the, visualization tools, um, and I hope this can help you improve your surface models. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe below, and bye-bye.